Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been accused of leaving themselves vulnerable during their Platinum Jubilee visit despite their ongoing security fears in the UK. Royal expert Angela Levin accused the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of acting like petulant teenagers after they greeted fans from their car by winding down the windows. She highlighted something dangerous could have happened but the pair did not want to stay out of the spotlight, which contradicted Prince Harry's claims he does not feel safe in the UK. Ms Levin told GB News, there he was, in a car with black windows, so they've obliged them with that so nobody could see who it was, and they both opened the windows right down and started waving at the people. That was an indication to me that they couldn't be out of the spotlight. However, that is very dangerous, someone could throw a bomb or a load of tomatoes through the window, you make yourself very vulnerable. Meghan and Harry lost their taxpayer-funded police protection in the aftermath of their sensational decision to quit royal duties to forge new careers in California in 2020. Since then, the couple have relied upon a private security team in the U.S. but the couple's legal representatives argue this team does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep the Sussex family safe. The Duke of Sussex last year launched legal action against the Home Office to appeal the decision not to provide his household with the same level of protection as working royals would. Harry has previously argued he wants to bring his son Archie and baby daughter Lilibet to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative said. But the row appeared to be temporarily put to the side when Prince Harry returned to the UK with his wife and children to celebrate his beloved grandmother's momentous jubilee celebrations. The pair largely stayed out of the spotlight, only officially attending a Thanksgiving service on Friday for the Queen and their first public appearance together in Britain since quitting royal duties. The pair joined other senior royals at the service at London St Paul's Cathedral, the latest event in Platinum Jubilee celebrations marking the Queen's 70 years on the throne. Far across the aisle from the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Harry and Meghan sat in the second row, behind the Wessex family and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. Working royals filled the front row chairs, meaning there was no place there for Harry and Meghan in the prime positions. They no longer use their HRH styles and the event was their first public appearance alongside the Windsors since they stepped down as senior royals two years ago amid the Megxit storm. They did however make a solo procession, holding each other's hand, down the nave of St Paul's Cathedral, after the rest of the mass of more than 40 royals and before future King Charles and the Cambridges. They were personally escorted by Lt. Col. Sir Alexander Matheson of Matheson, the Queen's senior gentleman usher. With little happening at grand choreographed royal occasions by chance, it appeared to be a recognition of Harry's place as sixth in line and a former spare to the air and of the way things used to be. Meghan, in an elegant Dior trench coat and matching hat, smiled as she walked through the church, while Harry bit his lip at times, while also nodding greetings to members of the congregation. There was no obvious interaction shown on the television camera between Harry and his brother William, who have long faced a rift, nor the Duke and Charles who have also had a troubled relationship, or between Meghan and Kate. Just over a year ago, Harry and Meghan accused an unnamed member of the royal family, not the Queen nor the Duke of Edinburgh, of racism and painted the monarchy as an uncaring institution in their controversial Oprah interview. Kate was publicly singled out by Meghan for allegedly making her cry in the run-up to her wedding. Former BBC royal correspondent Peter Hunt reflected, for the briefest of moments, Harry and Meghan were back being active Windsors.